Before we get into this journal with me, I would like to thank the sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with hundreds of different classes taught by professionals in their fields. So you've got things like animation, fine arts, video and film, music, photography, web development, leadership and management, marketing, lifestyle, productivity. There are so many classes. If you don't know where to start, there's a list of recommended classes you can just check out. Most of the classes on Skillshare are under 60 minutes long, so they're pretty easy to fit into your regular schedule. I decided to take creative writing, crafting personal essays with impact by Roxane Gay, who is an author that I've read before. And I also need to like get it together and understand how to write. So if you'd like to join me, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get 30% off an annual subscription, and then it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription after that. All classes are ad-free, of course, and so it's an uninterrupted learning experience. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Hi, how are you? Long time no see. I know I have not posted a journal with me in so long. I This footage is from February. You know, I had two journal things filmed and then I did a voiceover for one and then I didn't edit it because it like became irrelevant so quickly because life just moves so quickly apparently. So I opened a PO box a little while back. It might be closing so soon in July, but I'm not sure. We'll see. I think I might just leave it open and like for another year. I don't really know. We'll see. I'll update you on that. But I was reading your letters and it made me feel kind of bad. Just kidding. Not really, but kind of a little bit. So back probably during March, I was answering letters and then I hurt my hand and then I had to stop writing letters and then I decided to open a shop after that. And yeah, so I was reading some letters again recently and answering them. And then like one after another, it was like, I really like your journaling videos. Gives me lots of inspiration. And I'm like, oh my God, I haven't posted a journal with me in forever. So I was like, and plus I had this footage. It's perfectly usable. So this was back during February, this page. And I have to come clean to you. I have not journaled in two months. <laughs> so I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing with myself, my life. I didn't journal in April or May. No. What's the month before May? April? March and April. And usually like within the history of my journaling, all of the journals in the past, April is always the month that I don't journal. Uh, but this month, it was just two months, you know? <laughs> but now it's May and I did do some journaling and I felt pretty rusty. Like it was just, I was just like, this is kind of lack like, like I, I have it in my soul and my heart and my head. I know what I want to do and I know how I want it to come out. But then like, it's just, I was like, you know what? It's, I'm easing myself back into it. It's fine. But like it back in February, I was like on a roll and then all of a sudden things, yeah, which is kind of weird because even in the past when there was a month when I didn't journal, I at least made it before the end of the month to put like a title page at the very least. And this month, I, this year, I didn't do it for two months. Like it's crazy to me because I'm just so used to doing these things and I'm not beating myself up, up about it, but like just still kind of wild. I keep buying journaling supplies because I cannot stay away from Nico Neko Zakaya in East Village, New York City. I just love that place so much and there's just so many great things. I feel like now I'm seeing like a trend of um, products that they have and I feel like they have better products in the fall. But I think that's just because of my aesthetic. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I'm banning myself from that store for now. <laughs> And I've also been receiving a lot of lovely ephemera and stickers and piece of paper. That's what ephemera is, but uh, in the mail in my PO box. And thank you so much. There's just such beautiful things that I get. Uh, and I just like cannot wait to use it in my journal. And I use some of them in this page. So thank you so much. If you sent me some journaling things, I've been using them well, even though I didn't journal for two months, but like still, I love them. <laughs> but now I've got all summer to spend journaling and it hopefully i don't know but it's hot girl summer you know everybody's saying that nowadays but i know where i'll be right here in my apartment actually i'm supposed to move in the summer so i don't really know but i am doing summer classes uh because i'm a rising senior and 
it's kind of at that point where you're like, okay, now I need to stop fooling around and just taking classes that I want to take, and I have to take the classes that I've been ignoring and I didn't want to take. Uh, so, and like fill all of the credits and requirements and things. So I am a little behind on my program electives. And so I was trying to look for a class for the summer because they're offering like free of charge summer classes because of the pandemic. So I'm all here for free, you know, but then there were no program electives available le that were left or that had anything to do with anything that I know about doing the, what the hell was that sentence? But, uh, they were all like tech and, or painting and like things like that. And I'm like, but I don't do that. And I don't want to like just waste my time or get a bad grade for, you know, not being able to do something that I don't do. So anyways, a class did finally open up the day that I was like, no, I just need to register for a class no matter what so that I can have the like two credits. Um, and I found one that was like the, the art of making something like that, but basically uh, clay and casting and things like that and plaster so like making stuff out of that stuff and i love ceramics and i miss it so much but i don't really know how that's gonna work over zoom but we'll see <laughs> and then another class i'm taking the, for my art history minor which will be the last thing and so i'm gonna have to go through all my senior year without any history classes i'm going to die like i cannot handle that <laughs> i need the history class i could tell how much i struggled this past spring semester it just finished um if you don't know, let me just give a little brief because you never know. You might be new here and be like, what the heck is she talking about? I go to Parsons in New York City. I'm a rising senior. I was a junior this last year and I photography major, art history minor, and I love history and I wish I was doing that, but I'm so grateful that I went to Parsons and I've been doing photography because I learned a lot of things that I otherwise probably would not have. But my plans for the future have always been pretty unclear to me. I probably haven't known what I wanted to do with my future since I was in high school. Uh, so I don't know. I'm just kind of had a little quarter life crisis at the beginning of the semester. I had no history classes this semester. So I was just feeling pretty lost. So recently, within the past like few weeks, I had a thought, had a little plan forming in my mind. I was like, maybe this is something that I want to do with my future. Who knows? But like, that's something that I think would be doable. Uh, and that gives me a little bit of hope, you know? So I was doing research on things. I was like, maybe I'll do graduate school, maybe, and do history for it. But I don't really know how these things work. So I was thinking about it and I was looking at schools and what graduate schools kind of need and like minimum gpas and all of my schooling life here at parsons i've totally forgot that that's a thing that you get gray you get so caught up in the work that you're doing that you just don't remember or at least i don't because i'm not a very academic person didn't i don't remember that i was going to be getting grades and that that would affect my gpa and blah blah, blah because i'm like once i get my degree then that's it no jobs are going to be look at my gpa right but then now i had to go and look at my gpa and you know calculate and be like okay i really need to do well this next um year so that i can maintain my gpa and like the day after that happened and i was finally like okay now i've got some hope of what i might want to do with my future like i actually can you know be like oh maybe and then right after that a teacher basically kind of threatened to fail me because I was missing some things but I thought that like there was miscommunication and normally I would have been like whatever like I can take accountability for this like it's probably my fault uh and usually I'd be like I don't really care about the grades but I mean obviously I wouldn't have liked if he failed me um okay it was such it's so weird the whole semester I thought we were fine I was like okay I'm doing my work blah 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 and the, I was friendly with the teacher and, you know, we had individual meetings a couple of times and I spoke to him then and it was fine. And then this email that I got from him was like, you didn't do this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the best that I can do is give you a C or a D, a, C, a D, uh, but I might have to fail you. It's best if you talk to an advisor. So he's basically like icing me out. Like, and this was at the very end of the semester. And the, the work that he was saying that I was missing was from the beginning of the semester, which in, I didn't even think about this until I brought it up to my friend. I was telling her what happened, but normal people, normal teachers will read. And it's because it's a small class size. will reach out to you and be like, you're in danger of failing. Um, so, you know, uh, and then the way he said, I would have been like, this is a non-issue, it's my fault, maybe, whatever. But then the way that he was like, it's best if you talk to an advisor. 
basically i see me out being like don't talk to me again <laughs> i was just like what's what's going on are you well sir do you do you not remember us having conversation about this very assignment <sighs> it was just really frustrating and upsetting because i just figured out like okay maybe i wanted to do this with my future and so in order to do that i'd have to have good grades but then now this teacher's starting to fail me which would obviously affect my gpa and i was just mm -mm, that was not fun uh, I had another teacher this semester, which in the beginning of the semester when I was having my midlife cri quarter life crisis, my big mouth dog, he's the tiniest thing, but he's so freaking loud. As I was saying, in the beginning of the semester, I was basically <laughs> having my quarter life crisis and I didn't submit one of my, uh, a project for one of my classes and my teacher reached out to me and was like, what's wrong? Are you well? Like, what do you, what's wrong? like you need to do this and i was like eh. and so she helped me reach out to the right people to like get help and i was like now now that this happened with this other teacher at the end of the semester i was like wow she was super nice and like helped me out and even though she's like one of those teachers where like if you do your work and you communicate with her um you're fine but if you don't do the work she's gonna be like you dumb bitch you know what i'm saying like that's the vibe if you don't do the work and don't communicate, then you're not a problem. But if you don't do the work and you communicate with her and try to work things out, then you're completely fine. But anyways, she was grading and giving notes and she made a note that was like, I can see, I know that you had a rough time in the beginning of the semester and I can see the effort that you put in at the end of the semester. Um, so that helps a lot. And she, I, I was just very appreciative that she even acknowledged my efforts at the end. So Anyways, so that was a nice positive thing that happened within this while those other teachers being an asshole. I was considering maybe, not really, maybe taking one of his classes in next semester, I think it was. Thank God I didn't register for that because <laughs> no, you know? <laughs> but anyways, so it was a rough semester and it's pretty funny now that like the semester's over and I'm looking at this journal page that I did back in February when the semester was just beginning. Uh, it's don't feel so sad, you ho. And it's just like my comfort things. So it was like scam, twilight, which I still... <laughs> In one of my most recent videos, I was having a bad day and I was watching Twilight and eating a hot dog and fries and tater tots and it was great. Comfort time, Twilight immediately. <laughs> um, so, I, the, you know, that one for reals. Aurora, who I've been listening to her music since high school, so like 2016 maybe. Uh, and I don't know, re recently I've been re-listening to her um, recently as of in as of february i was listening to her all my demons greeting me as friends album and i just felt like oh. and then it became super popular on tiktok and i was like oh and oh my goodness everything's opening up again and artists have been scheduling concerts and tours and aurora announced hers and i got tickets for november and i'm so excited uh, in new york city and oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be a good fall, I hope. I'm being positive about it, you know, because I love fall. I miss it. And even though it'll probably be a pretty difficult semester with all the work that I'll have to be doing, I still, you know, there are, there are a lot of things to be excited for. Um, and this, the concert being one of them, I got two tickets, but I don't, I don't know anybody that also listens to her that would go with me. So I don't know. Let me know if you're going though. <laughs> Anyways, and the other things on the list was twilight soundtrack which i haven't really listened to all semester because it just makes me miss fall too much <laughs> and the sims of course which another thing that i have not been playing very much this semester i've just been playing splatoon non-stop find me on splatoon splatoon is my favorite game and i've been doing very well at league battles i've made it to s rank for two of the the modes whatever and if you know anything about splatoon find me i'll leave my friend code in the description <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully this fall will be good. I don't know where I'll be living. I don't know if I'm going to... I'm moving apartments, but I don't... I don't know. I'm kind of confused. We'll see what happens. But I know that it's just going to be rocking me against the world. So yeah, that's it. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope your summer is good and your fall is even better. The rest of the year is wonderful. Honestly, I live in like Australia. I hope your fall right now is good. <laughs> your winter. Um... 
and or I don't know where else has reversed seasons I don't know anyways that's it thanks for watching and hopefully I'll get some journal with me's out sometime soon again but no promises. 